My name is Kojo Mensa Abrampa, Honorable. I'm at Oforiku Municipal Assembly in Komasi. I was born on 24th June 1963 at Solpon in the central region of the Republic of Ghana. So on July 1977, I completed my middle school living certificate examination, but because of family problems, I couldn't attend. So after completion of the MLSLC examination, it happened that I have to help myself to get some funds. So I was selling fan ice, the tricycle fan ice. In fact, I couldn't see. It was passers by that saw what happened. So according to the eyewitness, they told me that I was hit by a private car. I, I was standing there urinating. Some few days later, I realized that my left leg has been amputated. That was beyond the knee, has been amputated. I studied accountancy. So for three years, I was there from 1981 to 1983. There was a vacancy at a preparatory school in Kumasi, near where I was staying. So I applied and became a people teacher. So I taught from 1985 as a people teacher till 1994. So during the latter part of 1980, 1981, I was, I mean, involved with this. Uh, disability organization through a colleague called Joseph Kobold. He introduced me into that uh, organization. In fact, at that time, I was shying away from seeing a person with disability. So when I got to that particular society, I feel that ah, not, not knowing I'm not the only person who is a disabled. Even some of the disability is more severe than mine. So why should I hate my dog? Why should I shy fear in integrating myself with them? In fact, I got a lot of encouragement when I got to that particular society. Before the society, I didn't know any of any other any other groups in Ghana. Because at that time this society was not established. So everyone was for himself. And then at that time, what I got to know was that there was an able people who were organizing for the disabled people. But it wasn't as wider as ours. When I got into the society, there was a lot of advocacy programs being organized by NGOs. At that time, we had some elderly people who are learned and who are assisting. So I was able to, I mean, join. I was able to join them, and through their effort, through their effort, I became an executive member. Later on, when they appointed me as an auditor to audit the accounts of the Kumasi a regional branch of the Society of the Cape Road. At that time, from 1992 to 1996, I was the national treasurer of our society, the other society of physically disabled. For military government, some of the benefits that the association got is that of getting some essential commodities from the regime. But concerning the welfare of the disabled, it wasn't too much. When we had election and the civilian government came into assistance, that is where the organization 
voices. At that time, we have been having media encounters and so on. So the government heard our voice. So through that, then this our uh, I mean uh, act came into existence. That is uh, Disability Act 206. So it wasn't the government per se that saw that it would be a benefit for the disability group, but rather it was the disability organizations that pushed pressure on the government to act in that way.